Hey everybody, Greg here, and I am at the corner of Riverside Drive and West Benton. And uh, behind me here is Brugger's and Jamba Juice. This is kind of a hub location for cycling in the area because from this spot you can head north, south, east, west. And what I'm going to be doing here today is turning and heading west. So here we go. And even though we've got the... Uh, the right of way there are cars that'll still turn so you want to make sure you keep an eye to the left I had about three cars that turned in front of me as I was trying to make it across the street here with the right of way but um, anyway heading west from here you could continue along West Benton here as you see and there's a pretty steep incline going up West Benton or there's another option which would be to head just about one block down the street here and then as you get to the end of the block you'll turn left. The thing about West Benton Street is that the sidewalk that exists is pretty narrow, pretty bumpy, not well maintained. What you see here is the fresh construction um, but once you get beyond this spot it's pretty narrow. So what you want to do is cross the street here, cross Benton, head a little bit further south, and this will get you a little bit out of the traffic. And if you want, you can just get up on the curb here. So now you'll notice it's a lot quieter, there's less traffic, and better riding conditions. This is going to put us just maybe a block out of our way south, but once we get down here, actually a couple of blocks, we're going to go down to Highway 1, and there's a, a really nice sidewalk that continues along Highway 1 heading west. And after a bit of a distance there, we'll be at an entrance to what's considered to be the Willow Creek Park area, but it's actually several park areas combined. So by going just a couple of blocks south of Benton, we'll continue heading west, parallel with Benton, just along Highway 1 here. And as a point of reference, across the street you can see Finn and Feather over there that's a outdoor shop I guess you could say similar to like you know Eddie Bauer or REI or something like that um, they have a bunch of outdoor and I guess hunting and fishing gear over there so um, that's locally owned business I try to point out the locally owned businesses along the route because those are typically of interest to people. The other nice thing about this, this way of, uh, you know, heading west is that there's some nice businesses along the way. So on our right, on the north side of the street, you'll see there's a neighborhood UPS store. And that's handy for, uh, you know, if you're trying to get something shipped off and you don't want to drive a distance trying to track down some shipping location. And then on the corner, I'm just going to point out Hudson's is a neighborhood, locally owned neighborhood, pub and restaurant, but emphasis on restaurant. Some amazing food, really nice atmosphere, locally sourced food, and even a lot of the construction materials were locally sourced for that. So it's the same owners as Stella over on um, Melrose. And then Iowa City Landscaping and Garden Center. 
which has one of these wonderful little little free library boxes. Those are always fun to see. And we're just going to continue then heading west on this trail. This looks relatively flat. There's actually a slight incline here. If you're coming east along this trail, you can enjoy coasting along much of this or getting the assist of that gravity. But heading west, you'll feel a little bit, you'll feel that a little in your legs because I think a lot of times when you're cycling, you know, you maybe going up and down hills or on the flat and you can coast much of the way if you want. One thing you'll notice is that cars will often pull into the crossway, the crosswalk, and uh, just need to kind of get used to that, not get stressed about it. I want to point out Hawks Ridge here is a very large housing complex here on the southwest side of Iowa City. It's obscured by the trees here, but I'm going to show you in a minute. It seems like we're in the middle of nowhere, but there's a bus stop there. That's actually for the students and residents who live in the Hawks Ridge complex. But as you can see, this uh, trail here can really be quite nice. Looking up just above the, the treetops, you can see some of the units there. And this stretches all the way across that ridge. As a point of reference from here, I'll show you that um, the south of us in the distance there you can see a runway at the Iowa City Airport. When I'm planning a ride or mapping a ride for someone else, um, I'll often consider how 
you know, choosing a ride at a certain time of the day can give you a really nice shaded, cool experience, even on a, a warmer day. And that's one of those spots where toward the end of the day you're going to get some shade along in there. So here the trail is arriving at Sunset Street. We're going to go ahead and cross here, continue heading west. So we cross Sunset Street. And depending on what's going on with the traffic, you may want to take the sidewalk or just take the street here if it's kind of quiet like it is today. There's a Casey's convenience store and gas station here on the right. And what you're going to want to do is turn right just beyond the Casey's. So this is Willow Creek here where we're turning right. You'll see Dane's Dairy on the right. This is an Iowa City landmark. We're going to continue on. You'll notice a lot of uh, automotive repair shops in this area. Once you're clear through that industrial uh, commercial area, you'll reach this entrance to the Willow Creek Trail. And there's a convenient sign with more details about the trail. Um, and here we're just, you know, continuing to head. Now instead of west, we're going to head north. going to point out a landmark here. There's a bridge that goes across Willow Creek there and uh, would go to a condo building. And then the sign here indicates that we can continue heading this way on the trail.
So there will be a few more of these bridges that you can take, and those actually go to the other side of the creek and continue on north. So if you're doing this ride, you can, you know, do a loop um, down the length of this park and turn around and come back on the other side, either on the east or west side of the creek. So here's that other bridge I was mentioning earlier. If you go across there, it'll curve to the left and head south. That's the west side of the creek. I'm going to keep heading north. If you're taking some time to be on foot, there's a nice footpath that heads off through there and then just a little distance here you'll see again this path you can take crosses a little bridge and heads into the woods there on the left we have uh, memorial garden and i believe this is um, established by and maintained by the iowa city hospice organization There's some art to the right. And these are carvings out of wood. If you get closer, there are some signs that describe what it is and who the artist was. But as you can see, this makes a really nice area to ride to and Maybe take a break, have a picnic early in the day or late in the day. It's well shaded. So the street that you see in the distance here is West Benton. And this marks basically the north end of Willow Creek Park. It's where the entrance, the trail entrance is. And from here you can head east and west and north and or go back south again. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's the extent of this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed this and the other videos. And let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. I'd be happy to... Uh, respond to those. So have a great day.